Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will learn what is AI Fabric and how to set up AI Fabric in UiPath. So let's get started. Now so far we learned RPA robots can automate rule based business tasks with a low code and easy to implement approach. We built several RPA bots for email automation, PDF automation, Excel, Word, web automation and many other rule based tasks. But there is a limit to the ability of RPA alone to automate more complex tasks. Many challenges are faced to use RPA to automate more cognitive processes such as customer sentiment analysis, understand natural language for voice and text, predict readmission risk of a patient, predict loan defaults and many such cases. Now these are the scenarios where RPA robots need to work with intelligence and perform tasks beyond rule based automation. And this is where AI fabric comes into picture. AI fabric is a machine learning platform that allows you to deploy, manage and continuously improve machine learning models and consume them within RPA workflows in studio. You can say that RPA robots in combination with artificial intelligence is AI fabric. And now that we are familiar with AI fabric, let's see how we can set up this AI fabric in UiPath. Now to set up AI fabric in UiPath, first of all, we will navigate to UiPath Automation Cloud with this URL cloud.uipath.com. And here we have multiple options to login. I will go with continue with Google. And here we'll choose a Google account. I will go with my this test account. And here we are in the automation cloud portal. Now from this portal, we'll move to admin and to licenses. Now in this licenses tab here you see for this account community plan license is enabled. But to work on AI fabric we require enterprise license. So we will request enterprise trial from here and provide all your details here. So I will provide some job details and click on request. Now here we get the message your enterprise trial request has been submitted. It may take up to an hour for the change to be reflected. So let's close this one. And if I refresh this page. And now you see this enterprise trial license has been enabled for this account. Now with this enterprise trial license, we got the license to use five attended testing unattended and non-production robots. Also using this enterprise license, five developers can work exclusively on Studio, Studio X and Studio Pro. And under other services, we received two licenses to use AI robots. These robots will be used for our AI fabric projects. Now to leverage all these benefits of the enterprise trial and to enable these AI robots, we will move to tenants and here we will edit the services. So click on three dots and select edit services. And here we will check this AI fabric since we wish to set up AI fabric for UiPath and let's save this one. Next, we will configure our licenses. So for that, click on this configure licenses. And here we will leverage all the robots available to us. So for unattended runtime robots, we have four robots available. So we'll go with this four. Then this one is five. Then we have testing runtime robots as four. So let's go with the four robots. And here the attended named user is available as three. So let's select three here. And this one is five. 
this one is also 5 and studio pro is 3 so let's select 3 under ai fabric we received two ai robots so let's go with this two count and save this one and let me once refresh this page and you see now we have this ai fabric tab listed over here and also inside the services we have this ai fabric listed now before moving to AI fabric, let's move to orchestrator. Let's open this one in another tab. Now in this UI path orchestrator, if you move to tenant, here we have the option of ML skill. Now in the community license, we do not have this ML skill option present, but since we have installed this, we have enabled the enterprise license. We have the option of ML skill here. Next, let's move to roles and we will add some roles here. So click on plus and here we will provide a name to the role. Let's provide the name as AI roles and under this we are going to check the roles ML logs, ML packages and ML skills and click on create. Now also make sure that you have the robots available. You have the robots listed over here and the status should be connected. As of now, my status, the robot status is disconnected. But make sure that you have the robot available and the status is connected. If you do not have the robot available, you can create one by moving to the folders. I will go with the default folder and move to robot and create a robot from here. Now this robot creation I have already shown in the orchestrator session. If you are not aware of how to create a robot, please check out that video for a quick reference. So that was all about the orchestrator. Let's move back to automation cloud and now we will navigate to AI fabric. And here it says apply AI to your RPA workflows in minutes. So this AI fabric is now set up for this account. We can create a project in AI fabric for this account. So create a project from here and let's give a project name. Let's say first project and let's give the description as this is my first project on AI fabric and let's click on create. And here we have been navigated to our project page. Let me quickly give you a walkthrough on all the options available. First one is the dashboard. The dashboard section provides you all the details and we can edit or delete our project from here. Next option with us is the data sets. Data sets are used to train AI models. We can create a new data set from here or we can upload the folder from here. So let's cancel this as of now. Now next option with us is the ML packages. Now here also we have two options. First one is to upload the zip file. We can create our own custom ML package and upload it here to work on them. Now if you want to work on an already existing ML package, you will go with this out of the box package. Now here we have different options available. First one is the model provided by UiPath for document understanding and we have different open source packages also for image analysis, language analysis, language comprehension, language translation and tabular data. So we can leverage these packages in our RPA projects. These packages are going to be very helpful. Now next thing here is some of the packages are trainable and some are non-trainable. So let me show you an example if I you if you will open one package for example language analysis here if I open this English text classification here you see this package is retrainable. So if you go with the package which is retrainable you require to provide data sets and pipelines but there are certain packages which are not retrainable. So if I go with this sentiment analysis here you see this package is not retrainable. So for not retrainable packages, the datasets and pipelines are not required to provide. 
So let's go with this package sentiment analysis. Here we have to choose the package version. So let's choose the package version as 2.0 and click on submit. And here we'll have to provide the package name. So let's provide a package name here. Sentiment analysis package and let's click on submit. So we created this sentiment analysis package under this ML packages. Next option with us is the pipelines. So the pipelines represents description of ML workflow, including all the functions in the workflow and their order of execution. Now, since we have chosen not retrainable ML package, so pipelines are not required to provide. So let's skip this one and let's go to this ML skills. Now this ML skill is the actual deployment of a package version. The ML skill which you will create here will be reflected in the UiPath Studio under the ML skill activity. So create a ML skill from here. So create new ML skill. Let's give a ML skill name. Let's give the name sentiment analysis skill and here choose a package version. So Let's choose a package version, this one. This is the package which we created. Then we'll have to choose a major version. So from this drop down, select the major version as two and select a minor version as well. Let's select the minor version as zero and let's click on create. So the ML skill has been created, sentiment analysis skill and status is deploying. After some time, this ML skill will be deployed and status will be changed to deployed. Now the last option with us is the ML logs. All the logs will be available here, over here. So that was a quick walkthrough on all the options available under the AI Fabric projects. In the next session, we are going to create an end-to-end -end project using the ML packages of the AI Fabric. And that's all for this session guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends. Hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel as well. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.